Aries, someone that's playing for you is big energy. Alright, so whether you, look, there you go. You got real boss energy right now, Aries. Yeah, look, real boss energy. You walking with some real big energy right now. It's like you got a force, a force about you. Your presence. Fucking, what is it? The One Piece Hakai? I think that's what it is. No, that's Dragon Ball. Hockey. I mean, it's about the same shit, though, if you really think about it. <laughs> yeah, but it's like your presence is known. People can feel your presence. And that's because you ended a bad mentality or ended something that wasn't a part of who you were supposed to be or who you are. You killed this, this lies or these mentalities or this relationship. It's like something ended for you. Forcefully, it might have hurt a little bit, but that only that's only put you in the space of your truth or that's because you became aware of the truth and that truth brought a whole lot of energy with it. Oh, yeah, wow, wow, wow. Truth brought a whole lot of energy with it. And that all that all those swords, the truth came with the swords and killed the mindset, killed the relationship, put you in the space to be defensive towards something that was unstable. I'm this fell out. I was shuffling. So I'm gonna put it back. But four wands in reverse fell out for you, Aries. So something you invested in or something you were once passionate about is unstable. Whether it's a mindset you got, you real passionate towards expressing yourself this way to these people or towards your solar system around you and it's not a stable way to express yourself. So you come in off as unbalanced or you will later experience unbalanced because of your choice of form of expression. You feel me? Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. And I put it back. So we just gonna act like that's where you was coming from. You feel me? You was in something that was unbalanced. You was in something that's unstable. We we about to find out right now. Though. You feel me? About to find out right now. See, something ended. Tower on the bottom. Something ended. What's on this? Shaking. Yeah, see, some shit was shaking up. All right. Mm, come on, Aries, yeah. You don't feel good about something right now. And it's like people can tell you don't feel good about something. It might be, look, and then on the splits, three of swords, a heartbreak type situation. You you going through something. Something ended and you may not have been ready for something to end. And because something ended the way it ended, it's like it hurts you. Whether someone said something to you that hurt you, because it's three of swords, so that's the truth. So truth hurts. You know, it sets you free in some way, shape, or form. You may not be able to see it. You expressing yourself. Like, people can see you don't like, you don't feel good about the outcome of a situation or how something's going about. Your external world can see how you feel because the emotions you are expressing are from a lower place. So people can feel that. Mm-hmm. Look. Love relationship. Something you invested in that you loved. It's two flips, so I'm gonna put them back. Something you invested in that you love, look what's here, made you feel weak, doesn't make you feel good. Ace of Cups, you, you, I'm telling you, something fucks you up. You got the Ace, the 10, and the nine, and the lovers, you fell in love with something. Whether it was an idea, relationship, a form of expression you wanted to participate in that only had you in a controlling place. So whether this was something you invested in was controlling you or you let control you or it's just like you let some, someone or something control your emotions. Yeah, back on the split. It ain't working out the way you wanted it to. You don't feel good about this place, this job, this relationship, this idea. Man. People could look at you and tell you don't feel good about it. Yeah, you did something too quick. That's why you're here. Now some shit's shaking up. Yeah, look, Ace of Cups in reverse. Oh, what happened? What happened there, Aries? No more. Yeah, that motherfucker came out. You invested in something too fast because you thought it would make you happy emotionally. Now that you got the wisdom about the situation, mm -mm. nah, ain't it, Chief? Not it. I'm telling you, you not had nine, ten. You not happy right now, at all. Yeah, look, you may be seen in a, you may be in a certain type of position. You may be expressing yourself a certain type of way, 
And it's like you got a chip on your shoulder and everybody can tell. It's the first card out. It's the one. People could look at you and see you're not happy about whatever you're invested in passionately. You jumped on something too quick. Jumped on something too quick. Now you in the state. You may be thinking about what you in right now. You may you feel weak. If it's you versus someone outside of you, someone outside of you could have expressed themselves in in some sort of like kingly or higher position. Someone could have expressed themselves in regards to their passion as balanced and stable. Whole time, they got a whole lot in the closet. They got a whole lot of dirty laundry in the closet. They just, you know, when you clean your room, you just shoved everything in the closet. So that's how they presented themselves toward you, towards you, Aries. Someone presented you, presented themselves towards you as stable. Someone presented themselves towards you as passionate, as invested in something. Whole time though, soon as you moved in or soon as y'all got together, and as soon as y'all started sharing the space, for fifth, y'all started developing ideas and building mindsets together. Y'all started spending more third dimensional time together. Then you, then, then you, you guys shared a space and the, what the filth that was in their space came into your space. You feel me? So now this per, this person was unhappy when they met you. Now you unhappy with them. You thought they was one way. They was hiding some shit. You see the lizard. It was hiding some shit. You were probably dealing with a shapeshifter. Someone put on a good smile in front of you. You feel me? Yeah, but in but after, it's like time revealed the truth to you. And now you may realize you have invested in something too quick. Look, because you got a different perspective. Now you now you may still be sharing a space with this person, or you still be you still may be in this job or in this relationship, in this friend group, whatever you're you may still be a part of it. But everyone in that came with that space, everything you've manifested in that space when you were in that energy. So if it's a relationship, all the friends you gained while you and this person were in the relationship, everyone you've included yourself with can see that you're not happy because of something that has turned out in this situation. Both, if it, it's not just you, both y'all motherfuckers ain't happy. I'm gonna be honest with you. If it's you versus you, you may have been, yeah, look, you're not receiving emotions from nobody. You, if it's the, if it's like a relationship, you, you not, your partner might try to express themselves emotionally, bring you some feelings, <coughs> bring you some feelings. <coughs> oh, shit. Hold up. Hmm. What's wrong with this? Yeah, vaccine. I was gonna say it's like you got medicated and you woke up. Now you see what you now you see and looking what's around. You ain't taking them feelings from them folk. Cause look how you feeling. You don't feel good about yeah. It's like you again. You may still be represent if it's you versus you. You're still participating in what this is. But the same way you look at this card and you can see the lizard is the same way people could look at you and tell you're not happy. You feel me? You're not happy where you at. And if, if it's a relationship, both of y'all not happy. Y'all not even accepting emotions and feelings from each other the right way. Anytime someone expresses or invests themselves emotionally, someone may take it the wrong way. Because again, y'all are both in a negative state of feeling. So any feeling brought to you will be taken the wrong way. Look, I'm telling you, son, you're not passionate here no more. I might as well break up. Be honest with you. You heard that crap? Y'all might as well break up. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, something's stressing you out, Aries. If you in a, if this is a relationship, Aries, y'all might as well break up. I'm telling you, I am telling you, it's unbalanced, and it's it's like it's too far gone type shit. Now look what the fuck on the splits. Love is in reverse. If this is a relationship, break up. 
Don't let me tell you what to do, but don't act like you ain't think. We ain't gonna act like you ain't thinking about it already. Don't play me. Don't play with me, Aries. We ain't gonna act. Look, because you know the truth. You did something too fast. I invested in this relationship too fast. I jumped in with this person too fast. I started this business too fast. Whatever you did, it happened too quick. It ain't popping. And if it, if it is popping, it ain't in the positive way. Come on now. Come on now. Hello. <laughs> it's not balanced. Hey, I'm going to leave that decision to you, though. Something you emotionally invested in too quick, it ain't, it ain't hitting the way you thought it was hitting. Look, what came out? High Priestess, I rest my case. It's motherfucking truth, I'm telling you. you. If it's the fact that you know the truth, that you did something too quick, now you know the truth, you did something too quick, you don't feel good about it. Now someone outside you may know you know the truth about a situation. They still expressing or carrying themselves one way, but they don't feel good about it. Now that, now that the truth is out, ain't nobody receiving emotions right, ain't nobody expressing themselves right, because it's unbalanced. And both y'all know it's unbalanced. Or anyone involved in this space know it's unbalanced. Regardless, put your foot in the shoe that fit you and I'ma fuck with you.